Okie dokie. <clears throat> Week two assignment hints. Calculating the measures of central tendency using Excel and R. So let's just launch right into this. <clears throat> Here's our assignments of the week. You can find them in the assignments folder. Essentially doing the same thing we have two different software packages. Um, um, calculate the following statistics for time using Excel or other spreadsheet program. And what we're um, <clears throat> asking for is the mean or the average, the median, range, minimum, maximum, standard deviation, and variance. Um, asking for the same thing in R, although um, we didn't ask for the range, so um, although it's easily calculatable, and we'll just do that just for a, a freebie. Let's go to our software. Get out of this PowerPoint. Okay, so here's a, a nice little um, Excel file. Looks real similar to the soft uh, to the assignment one. It's got a you know 30 or 40. This has got around 40. Um, um, measure 40 cases of two different variables. Practice level we don't care about because it's numeric. I mean uh, it's a category variable. We can't do means on it. So we're going to just we're just going to calculate those statistics using the speed. Now, um, for you Windows users, and I'm on a window right now, uh, it's um, uh, easiest to just use your data analysis tool pack, which is not here on mine right now. Where did it go? Oh, no problem. Let me just go to my options folder, go to add-ins, manage Excel add-ins, hit go, and I can see that my data analysis tool pack, it just calls it analysis tool pack. Uh, it's not there. I call it data analysis tool pack because that's what it used to be called. Now it's just called analysis tool pack. All right, so now I have my data analysis tool pack loaded in. Um, and calculating all those statistics with Excel for Windows is pretty darn easy. So let's go in here and find our descriptive statistics. Click OK. Then we have to do an input range. It's the first thing we have to do. So we click on the, the thing that looks like a little mini spreadsheet. And then we just drag and drop. Well, we, we drag. We don't drop. Drag. Come back over here. Step one. Now we have to check our labels. Uh, it's unchecked right now, but I can see that I selected my label. Now it's optional whether or not you select the label or not, um, and it's not that big of a deal when you're doing one variable. But with Excel and descriptive statistics, if, if I had 10 different um, variables that were all numeric side by side, I could do all 10 at once. So that's one of its nice little features. So I picked the label. And then where am I going to put this? I'll just I'll just put it in a new sheet called something. What should I call it? About descriptives. And what I want is um, just my summary statistics. I don't want the rest of this stuff right now. So I should be able to just click OK and have a new new uh, worksheet pop up. And a new worksheet called descriptive pops right up. And what do we have? We have a mean, um, a median. It gives us a mode, didn't ask for one. A standard deviation, a sample variance, kurtosis skewedness, we'll get onto that later on, range, uh, <clears throat> minimum, and maximum. So um, it also gives us a sum and a count. So it gives us everything we need to know. Um, to make a report in in um, 
uh, an APA style journal. We've got the number of, of cases. We've, we've got the um, the mean, the standard deviation. We've got everything we could possibly ever need on a, for a very simple descriptive statistic. Now, you poor Macintosh users. You don't have the analysis tool pack. Now, if you if you had installed um, uh, Stat Plus, you'll be able to use Stat Plus to do descriptive statistics. I'm not going to um, <clears throat> um, uh, cover that. Uh, you can find uh, that in uh, online. Um, and um, so, uh, what we want to do is, if you, if you don't have the analysis tool pack, say you have Open Office or uh, Numbers for for Apple, uh, uh, <clears throat> we have to calculate each one of these things uh, individually. So, and we do that by see so what what are we we're doing the the mean, median, um, the minimum, maximum, standard deviation, and the Variance. Uh, we can do range, I believe. Um, so, um, in order to calculate the mean in Excel, we use the average function, and then we we just start to type in all these numbers. Well, we don't want to just type in thirteen point three and then comma, etc. We just want to use the range of numbers like that. So, uh, and then we can just hit enter, and it should have calculated our average for us: uh, 15.25, 15.25. So we're looking good. So, well, that's a lot of steps. So here's a little trick to help you avoid uh, as many keystrokes, mouse strokes, etc. So. Um, what I like to do is to name my ranges. So, uh, what I mean by that is, is rather than than call that range from B2 to B41, um, as it's called up here, B2 colon B41, I want to give it a, a simpler name. So, uh, first I select the range that I want to name, and I do that when I'm on a straight down shot like this by hitting control shift and then down arrow. Now if you're in a Mac you can hit command shift down arrow and it should do exactly the same thing. And then I just give it a name. That was what? Speed? What's the name of that column? So I just named that speed and it looks like you know nothing happened but something did happen. Now when I type in my formula, this time we're going equals median, and look at that, there's a nice little um, function for median. Uh, I can just type in speed, hit my parentheses, and I'm good to go. Uh, and then it makes it much more um, um, time efficient um, to just type in um, uh, the word speed rather than to keep either dragging and dropping or going back what 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 was the bottom number so it's a little easier this way so min was the the um, the formula for for minimum um, equal sign m a x is going to give me my maximum and again we want speed uh, standard deviation ooh what's that called so in order to find standard deviation we can click on the function the little fx up there and just type in standard deviation and it'll search around. We've got several choices STDEVA, um, STVP. Uh, uh, <clears throat> now that, that assumes that we've got a, uh, a population value going there. So we'll get into that later. And we can see here that, that we have some duplications. So let's just do the simple standard deviation. Um, it's going to ask for um, a range and a number. So, um, 
So I'm, I found out what my function is. So now I'm, I'm going to do the equal sign, STDEV, and then speed. And um, then I'm going to do uh, variance equals. So let me just start typing out the word variance here. The AR. I see I have various various variances, uh, and I can kind of go down through them. And what I have is is, is a little uh, help window that says exactly what this version of variance is that just kind of pops up. So um, here's the the simple variance. Let's just start with the simple variance. Um, hit the tab button, and then again go speed. Then find an equal sign. Hopefully you have a range. You don't have a range, it looks like. See, it doesn't work. So uh, in order to calculate the range um, equals um, maximum minus minimum. So just by clicking those two cells, we built our formula, and then we hit enter, and let's see if we have the same range: 9.34, uh, 9.34. So, so that that's calculating all those nice um, statistics um, using Excel, both ways. Now R, okay, R. Um, so. Okay, the video will continue in a separate video, uh, R, so go ahead and look for that one, also on Tegrity.